Hi, welcome to Jackie's Reviews. I am going to do a book recommended to me by one of my friends. It's called The Mistress. It is by Danielle Steele. Danielle Steele is a very popular author and I think she's written a hundred books or more. This is not my first book of hers I've read offhand. I just can't recall the name of it. In this book, you follow Natasha, who is a mistress of a billionaire who is a Russian and his name is uh, Vladimir and there is a love triangle there is uh, a second dude whose name is Theo and he is a young and inspiring artist like his dad was an artist so he wants to be an artist too because his dad was and he's just naturally really good at it so most of the time you're following Natasha and Natasha and Vladimir like travel like all over Europe and Asia area right and he has a giant boat and that's basically where they live Natasha is very spoiled by Vladimir he actually rescued her when she was 19 she was dying of pneumonia and he had seen her before that he had actually seen her freezing in the streets of Russia and he fell in love or he thought she was very attractive like the most beautiful woman he's ever seen and that is how she's described so she's got blonde hair she's got like a Russian accent and both Theo and Vladimir have said or stated that she's the most beautiful woman they've ever seen okay that's how she's just described just gorgeous <clears throat> so she lives on this boat mainly with Vladimir. Vladimir is like rich, rich man. You're not quite sure exactly what he negotiates in. You do get like little tidbits, you know, that he signs paperwork for like a mineral mine and he talks to the Russian president and a whole bunch of stuff. But either way, he's filthy rich. They live on a giant boat and they have servants and just like life is good. She doesn't mind being a mistress. She's not his first mistress. She's like his fourth. She doesn't want kids. He doesn't want her to have kids. Like they don't want to get married. She knows like her role is to just do what he wants and please him. Natasha is very interested in art. So Vladimir takes her to a restaurant that it has just like tons of artwork done by one man who has passed away and his widow has the restaurant and his artwork up and people can go through almost like a walking museum and they can look at the artwork now when she's here or there at the restaurant they meet Theo now Theo is the son of the artist who passed away and Theo like just just becomes enthralled in Natasha he's dating someone when he sees her okay but immediately he knows like she's just got something she, like not only is she gorgeous she just has like that it factor like just something that compels you to like draws you in so when she leaves he can't stop thinking about her and he becomes very obsessed with her and paints a portrait of her from memory and is just all encompassed of Natasha this woman he's only met or seen one time and just you know loves her already love at first sight <clears throat> a lot of the rest of the book is like Natasha just kind of being lonely being okay with what's going on Vladimir making deals Theo dating other people to try and forget Natasha and along the way you know situations circumstances where Theo gets to see Natasha again or gets to talk to her and honestly people people not gonna like this honestly I didn't really like the book okay now I think if you want something that's really mellow and not a lot of drama this would probably be a good book for you. There's really no suspense. There's really no, you know, gripping the edge of your seat to hear what happens next. It's just kind of like, meh. 
like even what I would have considered like the climax of this book wasn't really climactic to me like it wasn't enough there was like a little peak but I guess I'm just used to more books where it's like a lot of not necessarily a lot of up and downs but I really prefer reading books that have you know like something happens something happens something happens something happens like I like really fast-paced books I find them more interesting and intriguing to read or to listen to and this one was just kind of meh it does and I I'm not saying anything bad about like the author or you know the writing style I did appreciate the character growth between um, Natasha you know how her character grows and matures at the end of the book just like Theo his character kind of like matures and they both you know find happiness within themselves right so I do appreciate the character growth that goes on with them just in a in a just in whole the story just wasn't interesting enough for me there's not enough going on here to make me want to read this again I personally would not recommend this book I wouldn't and I hate to say that because I hate to do any sort of bad reviews for anyone because writing books takes a lot of work and Danielle like I know I've read a book I've read like a book or two from her that I've liked before I just don't like this one this one's just too too mellow it's just it's almost boring how slow it is and how there's not a lot of stuff going on I don't even know how else to like how else to phrase it it's just not that I don't know I just don't like it again if you need a book that's really mellow and that doesn't have a lot of surprises that doesn't have like any violence or any fighting or really anything big going on this would be the perfect book for you because there's nothing going on that will blow your mind there's literally no part in this book that I was just like Whoa, crazy not a single part there wasn't I'm sorry if you didn't like my review I apologize if you have any recommendations of a good book that I should read leave them in the comments below thanks everyone and I hope you have a wonderful day bye